early warning system for football players. Wireless technology can keep them from overheating. It's a big night for football fans. The NFL season kicks off tonight, and as always, things can really heat up during the game. I didn't realize you were a big NFL fan. This is true, Jay. <laughs> heat up in more ways than one. We came across some researchers in Atlanta, Georgia, trying to use technology to help football players from becoming real hotheads during the game. When athletes give it their all, pushing themselves and their bodies to the limit, it can be a thin line between being in the zone and the danger zone. Well, we know that since 1955 that we've had 115 deaths that are related to, uh, that are directly related to heat uh, in uh, American football. Young football players can be gluttons for punishment making them particularly vulnerable to overheating. Jay Buckaloo, who started playing as a kid, remembers going to extremes to drop weight for his high school football games. In those days, it was taking salt pills and, and sitting in an attic with a garbage bag wrapped around you trying to, to sweat weight before you went to weigh in on Saturday morning, and then trying to rehydrate yourself before game time. The athletes today are still doing that stuff. They're still doing the sports energy drinks. It is all about the peer pressure that's out there right now, and it's tremendous. It may only be a game, but the stakes can be deadly. So, to reduce the risk, Jay and his team have developed a crucial early warning system. It tells coaches and trainers when players are overheating. The technology itself is very uh, undetectable by the player. The hardware uh, device itself is mounted in the crown of the helmet. It is a microprocessor with an onboard battery. Uh, the device, as you're looking at it, is this is the printed circuit board. This is the RF antenna. We worked with GE Sensing to develop a uh, temperature probe that is used in premature babies. Uh, and it's called a thermistor. It is the same technology that you would find in a thermometer. Uh, it has a metallic device that as the properties and the heat changes, it changes the complexity and the characteristics of the metals inside, and it measures temperature. You're running a high temperature, you just want to check you, make sure you're okay. okay. Every 10 seconds, the player's temperature is sent to this handheld device. It uses a special radio frequency so that a signal can be transmitted the length of an entire football field. But the handheld device does more than receive alerts. It also stores vital information about each athlete. Pre-existing medical conditions, uh, doctor information, known allergies, things like that that allow the uh, staff uh, to make decisions on the spot. Beth Higby is a certified athletic trainer, physiologist, and mother to two football players. She's working with Hothead Technologies to refine their system. Anyone whose temperature reads more than 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 Celsius will trigger the alarm. When the body core temperature gets above 106 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when it's very serious that uh, the player can become unconscious, uh, become before you know, go into a coma, and that's usually where death may occur. So what our device is trying to do is to keep people from getting even up to the 104 degrees if possible. But will it work? Today, the team is testing the device on young soccer players. It's hidden in their sweatbands. Okay, right now, everybody's green on our screen, which is great. That means everybody's less than 102.5. Just gonna check and see what kind of temps we're running right now. Prepubescent kids do not liberate heat like adults. The sweat mechanisms are not developed properly. They don't have a large body surface area. So actually, these guys are often more at risk than older children and younger adults. Now we're running about 99. Oh my goodness. Riley, Riley Vickers, number 17, just went off. I'm gonna check and see. He's greater than 102.5. Hey, Riley! Hey, you, you just triggered on me, okay? How you feeling? A little sick. Huh? A little sick. Well, what do you feel like? Uh, just tell me what your symptoms are. My stomach doesn't feel good. I'm a little dizzy. This is pretty quick for you to go up, so... I want Beth to believes this device will help parents and coaches stop young athletes from pushing too far. Well, coaches, it's going to be a, a, a benefit both ways. You know, they don't, they want to push. They've got to get them in shape, but they don't want to overdo it. But how do we know how much is too much? We don't. Let's go. Give me my bags. Over here. 
So hopefully, again, we'll provide an objective number to be able to allow the coaches to know whether or not the child is just sick and they didn't tell anybody. Maybe they have that warrior mentality and they're not going to tell the coach. And that warrior mentality isn't just limited to athletes. Construction workers, firefighters, and of course soldiers all have a tendency to fight through the heat. So there's a lot of potential. But for now, the team is focusing on research trials at Kennesaw State University in Georgia to prove that it can work for young footballers. Those data are presently being uh, reduced and analyzed and ready to be submitted to a, a peer-reviewed publication. So we can't give that away, but obviously we're very pleased with what we've seen. The current model only costs about $100 a piece. For everybody involved, it's a small price. If we take the cost of our system over an average football season, it's less than a dollar a day. So I guarantee you, if you have a parent that you ask, if you could have a technology that's available that could perhaps prevent a catastrophic event from happening with your child, with your son or your daughter, is that too much to pay?